Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics Nav Project Manager and Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. In this video, I'm going to talk about customer prepayments. Let's see how we can make a sales order into a prepayment invoice. I'm going to go to Sales, Sales Orders. I'm just going to go to an open sales order. As we see, the sales order is a status of open. Value of 33.1170. Down here, at the bottom of the sales order, there's a prepayment tab that you could specify how much of a prepayment you want to invoice your customer before processing the order. You see, it's a prepay percentage. So this is a whole number. It could be as little as 1% all the way up to 100%. Anything in between. So I am going to put in 100% but I could put in 50, I could put in 25, on an order by order basis. I could specify whether I want to include tax or not. So if this order is taxable and you're charging tax, do I want to include tax to get the prepayment tax on it as well? If not, I keep this off. I have the ability to give change the payment terms. If I want to give them a discount, if they use a prepayment, if they pay me right away, maybe I'll give them a 1% discount. This whole tab gives you the flexibility and ability to change the rates and the amount of how much you want to prepay on an order by order basis. Let's just stick with the prepayment percentage of 100%. Now that there's a value in there, again, whether it's 1% or 100%, the system now reads it as a prepayment invoice. How do we know that? Well, if I try to release this sales order, it's going to tell me there are unposted prepayment amounts, which means it will not change the status from open to release until I create that prepayment invoice. So you see my status still remains open. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to actions, posting, prepayment, and I can either do a pre-test report if I wish to see it, just post it right to the customer subledger, or I'm going to post it to the subledger and create the prepayment invoice. So let's go. We'll do post and print. Yes, I do. And you will see now my status has now automatically changed to pending prepayment. Now you know that this sales order is pending a prepayment from your customer before you can proceed. Let's go down here. Show me open. So it actually creates a prepayment invoice from the order for the whole 33,1170 because I put 100% uh, down. It wasn't taxable, so I don't have to worry about the tax. If I go to the customer record, remember the value was 33,1170, and now here's my value, 33,1170. This balance came from, as it states, a prepayment invoice from sales order 101014. So it tells you this prepayment invoice came from which sales order. Now you have that invoice to send to the customer for their payment back to you before you could proceed on the sales order. Because again, my status is now stating pending prepayment. Now I have the ability to change the status from pending prepayment to released once I verify the payments come in. Now, if it's a customer that is always going to be prepayment regardless, because as we mentioned, we did this on the sales order down here at 100% on the specific sales order. But instead of if we have a customer that's always going to be prepayment, then you could set it up on the customer record itself by default, so that way every time you create a sales order for that specific customer, that default will always come in at whatever percentage you put in there. So I'm on a customer card, I'm gonna scroll down to prepayments, and you see it has the same fields that we just looked at on a sales order, but this is on the customer card. So now I could set this up on the customer level. So whatever I set up here is gonna be standard defaults that every time I create a sales order, for this customer, 
prepayment percentage of 100% is going to automatically populate in that order. So that way the user, the sales rep, or the customer service rep does not have to worry about forgetting to put that in there. It would set up on the customer card. It will automatically default. And once the order is created, so will the prepayment. It's going to force the user to create that prepayment invoice to send to the customer. And that's how prepayments work. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.